what is happening what is going on you bunch of absolute legends so in the 4.2 is out like a few weeks ago but what i thought i would do is just show you my render settings for my like store images this is not going to be an animation this is just my store image render settings in cycles so we're going to be in cycles i will make a, a video on ev if you want as well like i said i don't render much in ev i use ev if i'm doing a little bit more of like animations now that's been a 4.2 out and it looks a lot better but yeah, instead what i would do is i thought i would just show you my render settings in cycles and then i'll just give you a little bit of a tip at the end to save you time in blender so stick around till the end hopefully enjoy the video and yeah this is a previous video if you want to learn how to make this then i think it's a couple of videos ago feel free to check it out so first thing obviously we're going to be in cycles then what i want to do is go here so you can change your resolution so if i go here 1080 by 1080 it's that square kind of format if you want that that's also fine uh, a lot of times i render for youtube thumbnails so it has to be 1920 by 1080 which is basically 16 by 9 okay percent i usually make it 100 percent. you can increase the percent of the resolution it will make your render slower but it will give you a better better quality for youtube thumbnails i'll make it 100 percent but a lot of times i'll probably increase it to about 300 for if i'm going to be using like client work or i'm going to be uploading to social media other than youtube obviously and yeah so i'm just going to go back to 100 all these other things yeah doesn't really matter output yeah i'll make it rgba and i'll change the color depth usually to 16 compression 15 percent i'll bring it to zero percent okay this is not the most uh, this is not video this video is not to show you the quickest way to render this is just to show you my render settings so just keep that in mind that's not the fastest way there will be it will make it slower obviously that's 300 percent is going to make a big difference so yeah just keep that in mind like i said then color management i'll change it usually to filmic i'll change it to agx okay i'll sometimes leave it at an srgb but yeah either between agx or filmic one of the two usually i'll change it to agx so let's go back here now and like i said cycles then denoise i won't check because this is denoise for your viewport this is not for your render so yeah under render noise threshold i'll leave it at that max samples 300 usually i'll leave it at about 300 the higher you bring your samples the longer it's going to take to render but i found 300 is pretty decent i'll check denoise then all these i'll leave and light pass i'll usually change i'll leave it at that usually but i'll change the transmission also to four and the volume i'll bring up okay this obviously scene doesn't have volume but if you do like a cinematic kind of scene i'll bring the volume up transparent i'll leave at eight and clamping i'll leave all that exactly there and then i won't check that you can see how much that changes so you can see there if i turn that off and i turn it on you can see there it makes it not as good okay so you can see there you got that and make sure you uncheck that it looks a little bit better okay don't check that and then under performance so I click there i'll check persistent data so i'll check it and i'll change my tile size to 256 so it is 256 and just check use tiling and then under color management same thing you can get it there it's the same thing so don't worry about that and that will be my my and that is basically my render setting so if i go here it will also be just to tell you either a png or i'll change it to a jpeg okay it's not uh yeah you can see the quality then comes up then i'll bring the quality if it's a jpeg up to 100 if it's a png you can see compression so it depends on which one you want and obviously 16 and rgb a okay and like i said this is for the store images and then all i do is i just hit f12 and you can see there it's, it's actually not as fast like i said this is not the fastest way but you can see it's the quality is pretty good okay you can see how nicely detailed it is you can see there's a little bit of 
that in your object you'll have to probably add another subdivision surface modifier and just smooth it out a little bit more to get rid of those and then it's rendered it looks pretty good obviously it's got those squares but oh yeah that's just can be fixed just with a simple subdivision surface modifier and just bring it up As you can see it took me 56 seconds to render this image which is pretty slow so yeah it's uh, like i said it's for better quality this is not the fastest way to to render like i said if you want a video on that by all means i'll make a, a video on how to render pretty quickly but let's go back here and yeah that's basically the video so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you check out blender kits link in the description i always plug the add on in my opinion i'm not sponsored by them but yeah you get 10 percent off and the main reason why i do is because i do think it's the best add-on for most versatile for blender make sure you check out my page john and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe like the video see you in the next video peace